This presentation is on effective study techniques recommended for 4th through 7th graders. During this presentation, you will learn about different learning styles, the value of a study space, gain understandings of different ways to review materials, and explore the Pomodoro technique of studying. Basically, by the end of this presentation, you'll have an improved understanding of effective study techniques overall. Depending on how old you are, you might not think that you really need to learn studying strategies, but learning how to study effectively is a great way to improve your exam scores and get better understandings of complicated subjects. Our first topic is different learning styles. Before moving on, take this quiz, which is hyperlinked to this slide, to determine your learning style. Hopefully you've done this by now and received a result of either visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learning. Understanding your learning style can help you personalize your study techniques. If you're a visual learner, things like drawing diagrams and making flashcards can help you see concepts right in front of you. And if you're auditory, doing things like listening to videos and your teacher or reading things out loud can really be useful. Kinesthetic people, you guys' main thing is you have to do something to understand it. So rewriting notes or doing self-conducted virtual experiments, such as on gizmos or stump scopes, can be really helpful to your understanding. Now we're going to do a quick memory checkpoint. How might each learner benefit from using flashcards? Here are some learning style based responses to the previous question. Here are some learning techniques that work for everybody. We are going to be discussing the last two bullet points in greater detail on the following slides. In accordance with the bullet points, the next thing we will be talking about is selecting a study space. Picking a study space can improve your ability to concentrate and focus, therefore improving your ability to study and retain information well. What does your study space look like? Not all of these are good options, so we'll come back to this later on and you might find that you would prefer studying somewhere else. In essence, your study space has to follow certain criteria. It has to be away from people, organized and neat, allowing you to have good posture, reminding you of your goals and passions, and it cannot be where you do anything else like eating or sleeping. If you look up images of study spaces on the internet, these are the types of pictures that are going to pop up. And one thing you might be wondering is what if I don't have spaces as nice as this in my home? I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you that study spaces do not have to be really aesthetic to still function well. To give you an example of this, this is my study space. Although it isn't as fancy as the ones in the previous pictures, it follows all of the criteria and helps me to study efficiently and well. The next section of this presentation is about the Pomodoro study technique. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you a question. See if you can answer. Do you know who this man is? If you said Francesco Sirio, you are correct. Now let's talk about why he's important. He is the inventor of the Pomodoro Technique, which is a great study and work method useful to adults and students alike. Pomodoro essentially helps you break down your work and studying into bite-sized pieces of 30 minutes. During your sets of 30 minutes, you work for 25 minutes and then take a 5 minute break. After 4 30 minute sets, you can take a longer 15 minute break. During the breaks, try to avoid technology as technology can get really, really distracting. Instead, drink water, juice, or tea, stretch, or do breathing exercises. Pomodoro is so effective because it keeps you from getting bored, keeps you motivated, breaks down your work to make it more manageable, and because of these things, you have frequent breaks, which cause you to have lowered stress levels. Just to give you an idea of how many tests you actually take, the average student takes about 112 standardized tests five College Board AP tests, and 28 core classes, each of those core classes coming with about 15 tests or quizzes a year. Just like you're probably thinking right now, that is a lot of tests. Learning how to study for them will help you better cement your success. Your first presentation resource is a Study Space Inspiration website, which can help you figure out how you want to design your study station. This next website is for apps that are specifically designed for the Pomodoro method. 
This way, you don't have to keep track of the number of sets you're doing or when to take a break, because the app pretty much does it for you. Lastly, here is a PDF with some learning style specific study tips. Thank you so much for viewing this presentation. Using these study techniques will definitely help you be successful in your student life.